Hi everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by. In today's video, we've got something super special for you. We're gonna unbox and assemble the new Baja Bandit Mobility Scooter. But before we get started, like always, we're gonna cue into some epic action shots. All right, folks, well, welcome back. Now, before we get started with the unboxing and assembly tutorial, I just wanna take a moment to say, if you want a copy of our product catalog, visit our website, mobilitydirect.com. Claim yourself a copy, it's free. Once you get to our website, click on the green button at the top of every page that says free catalog. Fill out the simple short form. You'll get one in the mail within one to two weeks tops. I also wanna say that if you stay tuned to the end of this video, we're gonna teach you how to enter our giveaway. We're giving away a Baja Raptor four wheel, which is that scooter right there. It's amazing, it's huge, it's fast, it's a beautiful scooter. So if you wanna learn how to win a free mobility scooter, we're doing a giveaway once a month, but for that special giveaway, once we reach 50,000 subscribers, we're giving away a Baja Raptor too. You're gonna learn how to enter that giveaway at the end of this video. And by subscribing, you're automatically gonna get entered into our monthly giveaway. So, I mean, there's just so many opportunities to win free scooters here. And if you have any questions that we don't cover in this video, leave a comment below. We respond to every comment on every single one of our videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. There's two boxes. We've got the smaller box, which contains the seat, and the main box, which has everything else. You're gonna wanna get something sharp, knife, box cutter, pair of scissors, be careful, and just start opening. We're gonna start off with the seat. Now be careful when you're nicking the tape not to go too deep. You never know. You don't wanna hit the seat and scratch the fabric on it. But the seat's right here. You may need help taking it out. It is a pretty heavy seat. It's very comfortable, I might add, and make sure you stay tuned. You're gonna see something awesome about this seat that no other Pride Mobility or Baja Mobility so far has to offer. And that is going to make this one of the smoothest rides on the market. Look at that seat, that's a new design. Super comfy, feels like it's a memory foam. It's got some reflectors on the back. You've got the one inch hitch receiver on the back for accessories. You have the option to adjust the width of the armrest and we'll show you how to do all that in just a moment. Something else that's pretty neat is that you do have the depth adjustment option. So you can slide the seat forward and back with this lever, and then you can rotate the seat 360 degrees with that lever. And we'll show you all that, but I'm gonna put this to the side for just a moment here. Here's another box, this has the armrest. These are the 90 degree elbows that the armrest go into. So here's one of the elbows. It goes right into the back of the seat, and then the armrest slides in there. You've got your height adjustment set screw for the armrest as well, and we'll show you how all that works once we install the armrests. This box contains the actual armrest pads. Be very careful when you cut this. I'm cutting at an angle so that I don't go too deep. Definitely don't want to cut the armrest fabric. And here are the armrests, which do flip up. Got two of them. 
So we'll go ahead and put that to the side and move on. The box here cutting very carefully along the edge, kind of with the blade sideways, not straight down. You don't want to cut into the uh, product and scratch it, your brand new unit here. By the way, folks, when you receive your box, uh, if the shipping company damaged the box and it looks really beat up, be careful. Make sure that the shipping guy sticks around before they leave so you can inspect it for damage, take pictures. If the box looks like it's been destroyed completely, you can refuse the delivery and that's probably the best bet. So this box showed up with a few little dinks on it, but their packaging is really, really secure. They have a lot of styrofoam and cardboard in here to protect it so i wasn't too concerned and you shouldn't be either if there's a few little nicks or a few dents on the box extreme damage to the box is another story i would refuse the item and you know make sure you call our customer service department right away so here we can see the top view of the box now and in the box there's a couple of like empty cardboard boxes to protect some of the pieces so we're going to come in with the camera and show you so look, right here, empty box. Right here, empty box. These are all there to protect the main pieces, like the steering column. This box actually has stuff in it. You can tell by the sticker that says basket, charger, manual, accessories. So you've got a bunch of goodies in here. Don't throw this box out. You can clearly tell there's stuff in it. The other ones are empty. So we're gonna go ahead and move on. And right away, you're gonna notice something new here. This is a nice little, instead of rotating a knob, like on all the other scooters, you have to bend down and loosen a knob. This, you can use your foot kick forward, and that's gonna allow you to tilt adjust the tiller, AKA handle assembly bar, dash, whatever you wanna call it. Look at that. I mean, they really went above and beyond. So now you can just put your foot there, kick forward, tilt it, fold it down, bring it all the way up, etc. Now, I will recommend if you have two people, you might be able to carry this right out of the box as is. But if you're only one person, which right now I'm just here, we have one person recording the video and me unboxing it. So I'm going to show you a little trick. We're going to rotate the box, make some room. You can do this one person okay you want to take out these cardboard corners so when you take out these cardboard corners the point of that is to be able to cut through the box a little bit more easily okay so i'm going to cut the corners the edges out of the box and that's going to allow me to roll the unit out of the box okay as long as you keep your box in decent condition you should be able to do a return no problem so I'm not going to really mangle it too bad. I am cutting and I could tape it back together if I need to process a return. So now I'm going to undrape the plastic wrapping and expose this brake lever switch. We're going to show you up close here. It's in the drive position. So the brakes are locked in right now. I'm going to put it in neutral drive neutral. So now I can roll it around freely. What I want to do, <coughs> there's a little handle on the back here which we're gonna show you. I'm gonna pick up from this handle. I'm gonna lift up. I'm gonna pull this cardboard piece out from underneath, okay? And now, because it's in neutral, there's another handle in the front. I'm gonna pick up, roll backwards. So you just have to get the wheels outside of this secondary crate that they're sitting in on the front, and you should be able to roll it right out of the box. There we have it. See that? Look at that. This is the sand color, AKA the, the tan color. And we have the other model, which we'll throw on the screen for a second. So you can check out, there's two different color options. Really awesome. I love the colors. This is my favorite new travel scooter. Comes apart just like the Revo did, kind of like the Go-Go's, but the battery box splits in two. So we've got pretty much everything out except for this one big box right here off to the side. It's a long box. So in this box, we have the battery case. So let's pull that out. I have opted in for the upgraded battery. So we're gonna clean up the set right now and then we'll get to unboxing that battery pack. All right, folks, so we're gonna go ahead and unbox the battery first. It is a battery case. 
you can choose to get the standard battery or the upgraded battery to give you extended range. Now, if you want to learn about the specifications, go to our in-depth review video, which I'll throw on the screen. You can click that link right there. It'll take you right to it. Or check the link in the description when you're done watching this video to really learn about the in-depth details and specifications. All the customizable options. This scooter is very customizable. So this is the extended range battery pack. It's a little heavier than the standard battery pack. Don't connect or plug anything in yet. There's very specific instructions on how to start it up and use it for the first time. The battery is going to show up in storage mode, so it won't work. Unless you follow the instructions very specifically with regards to the charger and the initial setup of the battery. So let's get into this. We've got the basket, charger, manual, and accessories in here. The manual is going to contain information about how to uh, activate the battery and get it out of storage mode. Like I said, the battery is not going to work unless you follow the instructions. Essentially, what they do is with these lithium batteries is they're in the warehouse for a while, so they put them into storage mode and it won't work unless you follow the instructions and get them out of storage mode. So look at that, we've got a spare suspension coil. Got your keys, use your manual, little seat post pin. Here's the charger. Wall outlet cable for the charger. Four amp lithium battery charger, nice. Here's your safety manual for the charger. We'll keep all the safety information and let's clean up the set. We'll be right back. All right, folks, so we're gonna move forward and I do wanna take the time to mention that at the end of this video, we're gonna give you exclusive access to a flash sale coupon. So if you're interested in buying one of these, you could save some money. So stay tuned to the very end. You won't wanna miss out on that. So we have the user manual. Very important that you read this in its entirety before operating the scooter. You also have a specification sheet, so it's gonna have all your specifications. All right, so let's move forward. Here we have the safety uh, guidelines, which are gonna tell you what to do when charging your battery for the first time. All right, so on this safety sheet that says stop, read first, it says your lithium, your lithium battery is in shutdown mode. Prior to initial use, the battery must be charged off of the scooter. Follow the steps below in this order. So the battery is off of the scooter. Here's the little stop, read first, which matches that. So it says, connect the three pin XLR charger onto the three pin charging port on the battery box. Okay, let's do that first. Let's go in order here. So here's the charger. Here is the three pin XLR charging um, cable from the charger. It says to plug that into the battery box first. So if we look on the back, there's that pin. Uh, barrel connector. It's actually four pins. So I guess they did a little um, change to the XLR pin connection setup. It used to be three, now it's four. That's fine. So we'll put that in here. Then it says plug the charger power cord into the wall electrical outlet. So now once that's plugged into the battery, we need to get the cable that goes to the wall into the charger and plug that in, in that exact order. And I've seen that before with other lithium battery setups like the Endurance. It's just something that needs to be done in order to train the battery to wake up, essentially. All right, folks, so here we are. We've got the lithium battery charger plugged into the back of the battery box, the charging port and the charger connected. Let's take our wall outlet cable. I'm going to plug it in. It's showing green here. So what we want to do is leave that plugged in for, I would say at least, if you can afford to do so, about three, four hours, and check it, put it back in the cradle on the scooter after about an hour or so, see if it's turning on. If it's not, bring it back over here, follow the same steps. Plug it in here first, then plug the charger into the wall outlet. It should go into a red status, letting you know it's being charged, and then turn green again. It might just stay green because this is a brand new unit and maybe it's just already fully charged because they're such brand new units. We literally just got this. It was just released a few days ago. So let's go ahead and move on. 
All right, so I've got the battery. The battery charger was showing green. Plugging it in here on the cradle. There's a switch right here on top, which I'm gonna point out. It's gonna, we're gonna put it into the on mode and then we're gonna test it out with the battery in just a bit to make sure it's working. It should be awake now. The battery charger light was green. So let's go ahead and move forward here with the rest of the assembly. So really at this point, I'm not missing much. We just gotta put the front basket on and then the seat. So let's talk about the basket. It's got two little rails on the back. These metal rails just kind of slide over these hooks, right? So if you could see, I'm gonna line it up so that the hooks are underneath each rail flatten it out and then just drop down so that the hooks catch and when you take it out you just pick up so it's pretty it's pretty straightforward just line them up and it attaches pretty easily all right folks so let's go ahead and install this seat let's look at the bottom here we've got a male connector and the female connector i ripped the sticker off the seat post and you just want to guide that male connection right into the middle of the seat post level out the seat and it's going to fall right into place You'll know the seat is fully installed if it doesn't rotate on its own. You'll have to use the rotation lever on the right side in order to rotate it. And it will lock into position, several different positions. You can go 360 degrees. You can use the secondary lever here to slide forward and back. Pretty nice. A lot of comfort adjustment features. Let's go ahead and install the armrests. On the back of the seat, you're going to notice sleeves. Take your elbows, loosen up the hand screw as much as possible right before it's about to fall out. Pull these safe quick release pins out, slide the elbow in. We're gonna come around the back here and show you. You see right here where my finger is, the holes need to line up. As you're sliding this in and out, the holes line up at several different points so you can adjust the width. So I'm gonna choose the most narrow setup to save room in our showroom. Put that quick release pin in, tighten this hand screw all the way so that your armrest doesn't wiggle. We're gonna rinse and repeat on the left side. Loosen that hand screw up all the way. I'm gonna go in all the way, then pull out until I see the holes line up, put my quick release pin in. Retighten hand screw and we're ready to put in the armrest pads. So let's grab the armrest pads. Here's one. Now, if you want to adjust the height, you just need an Allen key set, okay? So here you can put your Allen key in there, loosen this up, there's a set screw in there. Find that position that you want it in. Let's say it's up here, let's say it's down here, or if you want it all the way down, you just want to tighten it. You're gonna choose your desired height. I'm just gonna leave it at the lowest setting and tighten that set screw all the way. That's how you set the height of the armrest pad. So yes, you can adjust the height. And if you want it all the way at the lowest setting, you don't want it wiggling, you just tighten that there when it's all the way at its lowest setting, they do flip up. And we're just gonna rinse and repeat on the other side and we'll be right back with you. All right, folks, well, the scooter's pretty much fully assembled here and in the user manual bag that came with all the documentation, you're gonna have your keys. You have two keys and you want to make sure you don't keep them together. A lot of people forget to take them apart. Make sure you keep the secondary key somewhere so that if you lose your whole set here, well, then it makes no sense in having two together. You're going to lose them both. So the ignition is going to be on the right-hand side. There's a little sticker covering the ignition. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this tag, and you can see the sticker down here is covering the ignition. So you put your key in the ignition and give it a slight turn clockwise. So now you can see the dash is powered on. You've got your battery meter showing full. If it's not turning on, make sure that your switch on the battery pack is in the on position. Otherwise, it will not turn on. You do have a breaker reset switch there. So if you do some extreme off-roading and it overheats, you're going to notice that this button becomes lifted up and popped out. Push it back in, try to reset your unit. That might help. Now I want to show you something that you might run into. Let's go back and recall when we were taking it out of the box we rolled it and it's in freewheel mode aka neutral mode so when i turn the unit on and i try to use it it's not moving the throttle's not giving because the automatic braking system is not engaged so you need to go back to the yellow lever and make sure you put it take it out of neutral mode 
aka unlocked mode and put it into drive mode aka locked and the way to know if it's locked is if you try and push the unit with your hand it's locked if it's in neutral you can push the unit manually so the electromagnetic brakes need to be engaged in the drive position with the switch towards the back so now if i go to power it back on push forward to go in reverse it's working pull back to go forward it's working you do have automatic brakes however if you want to slow down even faster because it does go pretty fast you can slow down even quicker with the manual hand brake so the units fully assembled we're not going to go into operation and how to use it i'll talk about all the different comfort adjustment features because that's not what this video is for this video is to show you how to take it out of the box and get it working we did that Stay tuned for our next video. We're going to show you everything about it, talk about the controls, talk about the customizable options, and show you all the details. All right, by the way, folks, you can get this in two different colors. They're both really nice, kind of a satin matte finish. They're not glossy. Very rugged off-road tires with rims that are painted to match the color choice that you select. Nice bumper guards. Full suspension. I mean, the seat post suspension is one thing, but the independent coils for each axle is just phenomenal. So you've got the seat post. You can see if we come in close with the camera, it's going up and down, and that's adding comfort and smoothness to the ride. Overall, this thing is freaking awesome. And what I really love, you just kick on that little lever there, and you can bring the handlebar closer to you. You can scoot forward. So many adjustment features to have the most comfortable ride possible. 400 pound weight capacity and it comes apart. I mean, this thing is easy to transport in the trunk of the car, has a super light headlight. I mean, it's literally getting hot on my hand just holding my hand there. So if you wanna learn more about this, click right there to view the full in-depth review video. We have tons of videos, by the way, comparing all of the different off-road models of 2023. And we make comparison videos all the time. By the way, I know I mentioned at the beginning of this video that if you stay tuned till the end, we're gonna give you information on how to enter the giveaway to win a Raptor 2. So if you wanna win a Raptor 2, it's gonna be a random giveaway. We're gonna announce one lucky winner that subscribes to our YouTube channel and comments. All you have to do is comment below, hashtag Baja Raptor 2. So if you leave a comment that says hashtag Baja Raptor 2, if you're subscribed to our channel, you're automatically entered into the giveaway. By the way, every month we give away a free mobility scooter to a random subscriber, which will be a more travel friendly, smaller scooter, but that thing is huge, it's awesome. So make sure you subscribe, comment, hashtag Baja Raptor 2. Also, I mentioned in the beginning of this video that we're gonna give you an exclusive offer for a flash sale coupon. And to redeem that coupon, you have to call our non-commissioned sales experts with the number at the bottom of the screen. So pick up the phone, call our non-commissioned sales experts. They will give you that limited time exclusive flash code and you'll get a huge discount if you're interested in purchasing one of these. So thank you so much for watching everybody. My name is Sergio, I'm with Mobility Direct. This is the Baja Bandit made by Pride Mobility. Until next time everybody, have a great day. Thank you.